Hello and welcome to another edition of Kiadini's Kitchen, video game recipes made real. Now, after last week's disaster of making meaty booze, <laughs> and with summer on the way, I've decided this week to make something not god-awful. This week's recipe, as requested by you, is Wriggle Fuzz's Barbecue Buzzard Wings from World of Warcraft. So in World of Warcraft, NPC Wrigglefuzz is planning to make a batch of his favourite food, barbecue buzzard wings, only he doesn't have any actual buzzard wings to cook. If you bring him some, he'll not only give you a taste, he'll share his recipe with you. So the official World of Warcraft recipe for barbecue buzzard wings goes like this. Buzzard wing, hot spices. Yeah, thanks Wrigglefuzz. Anyway, having done some thinking on hot spices, I found a bit more of a practical recipe for barbecue buzzard wings. So, for this recipe you will need 236 millilitres of cayenne pepper hot sauce. Can you tell I found a recipe that's in American cups by any chance? 118 millilitres of ketchup, 60 millilitres of apple cider vinegar, 2 tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, 2 tablespoons of unsalted butter, a pinch of celery salt, and some salt and pepper to taste. And of course, some buzzard wings, or some other kind of wing if you can't find buzzard wings, I guess. It's actually dead easy, this recipe. Step one is to take all of the ingredients, apart from the wings, and stick them in a pot. This is the hot sauce, by the way. Ketchup. Apple cider vinegar. Worcestershire sauce. Unsalted butter. Celery salt. Normal salt and pepper. Now, admittedly, that doesn't at the moment look very nice, but the next step is that we're going to start heating this on the stove until the butter melts, the ingredients combine, and most importantly, the sauce starts to thicken up. Okay, so this has been bubbling away for about 10 minutes now, and you can just sort of see from the bubbles here forming on the surface, that it's thickening up nicely to the desired consistency. So what I'm gonna do now is turn the heat off under that and leave it to cool completely, because if we were to introduce this now to our raw poultry, it would partially cook it, and you can't partially cook raw poultry and then cook the rest of it later, unless you wanna get really, really sick. So let's leave that to cool. And if you're anything like me, your next step will be to assemble your hastily procured barbecue, because you didn't own one until yesterday, owing to your complete lack of faith in British summer weather. Well, that took considerably longer than expected. Okay, so here is our completely cooled sauce. Uh, I just tried it and it is pretty punchy. So what we're gonna do now is introduce it to our buzzard wings. Um, the buzzards around here are obviously quite small, which is why these wings are this size, but they are buzzard wings, I assure you. Anyway, we're just gonna put some of this sauce over it. Not all of it, because to be honest, it's quite a lot. And I fancy saving it for sort of a dipping sauce at the end. We've got about that much on there and now what I'm going to do is get my hands in there and really work the sauce into the meat so all the flavours can really penetrate the flesh. So there we go, our wings are marinating nicely. We're gonna cling film that and stick it in the oven for about two hours. Preferably we could do this overnight so the flavors really penetrate deep into the wings, but unfortunately today 
we don't have time, so two hours or so is just gonna have to do. And of course, it's now raining. So with it now raining for the rest of the afternoon, if the forecast is anything to go by, we're going to have to switch to plan B, which is to use the oven. So these aren't so much barbecue buzzard wings as baked buzzard wings. Really glad I bought and assembled this barbecue. So thrilled. Okay, wings uh, in the oven. So while it's disappointing those wings aren't going on a barbecue, they're gonna cook for about 35 to 40 minutes at gas mark four, after which time we'll raid the oven. Well, joke. And there we go, barbecue buzzard wings from World of Warcraft. These were actually in the oven for quite a bit longer than I anticipated. Probably an hour or a bit more than that because I like my wings to be sort of going crisp on the outside and because obviously there's quite a wet marinade. It took quite a long time for that to happen, but uh, enough talk. What do they taste like? Well, because eating wings is a two-handed job and because it's actually quite dingy in the kitchen because it is just so cloudy in London today, I've actually relocated to the back room of my flat. Um, so here goes. Here is a World of Warcraft buzzard wing. Which one should I start with? I got a bit more of the marinade here on the side. It was kind of a dipping sauce. Oh my god, that is obscenely hot. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Hmm. It's not half bad. The um, the marinade hasn't penetrated anywhere near as deeply as I'd like it to have done, actually. To be honest, I think that's mainly to do with the amount of time I had it marinating away in the fridge. Uh, definitely try and do this overnight if you can. But, if you throw some of the sauce back in there, that is really, really tasty. I mean, it's, it's buffalo. You could give me buffalo gravel and I would eat buffalo gravel because it is frankly delicious. But um, yeah, these are, these are tasty. The apple cider vinegar gives it a nice sort of like tart edge to it. And then you've got the nice spices coming through from the hot sauce and all the cayenne pepper in there and it's slightly buttery um that is a tasty sauce i will be making this again not least because um it actually gives you a massive quantity i've managed to fill an entire hot sauce bottle back up just with the leftovers from the sauce which is fantastic i'm going to keep that in the fridge and try and use it up over the course of the next few days um so yeah all in all ouch i'm going to call these a success um sort of we didn't barbecue them because it's raining and um, they're a bit on the small side for buzzard wings uh, but they're you know they're, they're tasty um, sort of a success is what we're going to call these why not so anyway thank you so very much for joining me on this edition of Kiadini's Kitchen I will be back next Wednesday as I am every Wednesday with another video game food item made real. In the meantime, do please keep those recipe suggestions coming in because they're really handy. Um, I didn't know that there was a fetch quest to do with wings uh, in World of Warcraft, but because I love wings, obviously I was going to do this one. So yeah, do keep those recipe suggestions coming in. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to watch some more from Eurogamer, there should be some framing me right about now. Do like and subscribe if you feel like it, but if not, there's honestly no pressure. Either way, thanks for watching. Have a lovely day.